welcome back to the channel you guys we are super excited sarah and i just got a new boat a 25x3 from shallow sport and it's sarah's favorite color seafoam green white accent and we're part of the shallow sport family now so you might be wondering why we got this boat obviously we got the freeman from going offshore but we wanted a boat for the family you know we can fish near shore we can fish the reefs in the back country we'll take the girls out here sadie and claire were super excited when they saw it i know we showed it to them a couple days ago it was the demo boat at the Miami Boat Show. A lot of people saw it, got a lot of attention, and we're super, uh, super excited about it. So let's take a look through it. I'm gonna show you guys every hatch. Starting at the bow, we got our anchor locker right here. We got an anchor rope in here, just no anchor yet. I think it's in Sarah's car. It is. It is. <laughs> and I got a little cut out there, so you can lay your anchor line right in there, which is something small, but it's nice when people design something and build something that's functional. So we'll get that all set up. We also got a trolling motor and that's our first trolling motor we ever had. We're excited about that. I think it's gonna be fun and uh, we're definitely gonna use that. Our first trolling motor. I asked the guys, I said, how does it, how does it go in reverse? <laughs> and they all laughed at me because there is no reverse on trolling motors. You just spin it around. So obviously a huge deck space up here, starting over here. Now both these hatches on the side are the exact same. They're all insulated, but you can use it as a fish box. You can plug it. If you want to put a plug in there and dry it out, there's a little water in there because we wash it out. But uh, plenty of space and storage on here. It's a trimaran, you know, so the whole, there's three different hulls. And after we had the catamaran the last five, six, six years now, I don't think we're ever going back to a mono hull. We'll probably always have a multi-hull boat. This has got three hulls. This is the biggest hatch here. It's five feet long. We got our life jackets in it for now. It's insulated. So we got all this in here. We'll probably use this as a fish box. I think we'll probably move this stuff around, put these in the smaller hatches, and if we start going offshore to the reef, of course I gotta go to the blue water because I love the blue water. Sarah's gonna be lobstering on here. We're gonna be stone crabbing. But this hatch is five feet long, insulated, goes all the way up there close to that hatch. And uh, if we catch fish, that's where they're going. This hatch here, the exact same as the other side. You can see that there. Another insulated box. Put bags in there and all that. Right here, the boat has three live wells on it. This one right here is in front. Two of them are insulated, which when we say insulated, you know, there's foam around them and stuff like that. So if you don't want to use it a live well, you can use it as a uh, ice box, like for drinks and all that. But you got your stand drain pipe right there. That screws in here. You can adjust the drain on the bottom here. And now if there's any scales or dirt, you open up the drain on the bottom here and the small little scales go through there or like dirt and sand. So that's nice. Painted blue, which is good. A lot of people like to paint their live wells blue just to uh, mimic the water in the ocean. It seems to help keep the bait a little bit calmer. This hatch here is kind of hidden. Open it up. It's got bungee cords that help it tight. And here we got our safety horn, noisemaker, back of your electronics and all that. The wiring is right in here. We're putting all our screen covers in here, so just good to have storage in here. Got our emergency snacks, got a couple cliff bars. That's left over from the boat show. Oh, that's from the boat show. Oh, thanks, Wes. So, another little storage hatch right there. Moving further back, let's come around here. We got rod racks on both sides. Four rod holders here, four on the other side. We got the new Yamaha 300 on here that just came out last year. And motors are hard to get right now. We got really lucky. We've been waiting a while. Had some other motors get delayed, but we got the new one on here at 300 horsepower. And uh, we're loving it so far. This was the first boat they actually built with one of the new Yamahas. So, we can, we're super excited about that. Steering wheel, got your Yamaha gauge right there. Of course, we got a JL audio system, and this boat is loaded out with speakers. We got subs in it, we got speakers left to right, we got speakers in the tower. It's ready to go. Got the media master right there for the head unit. Simrad Electronics, super happy with them the last six years. You got your chart plotter right here. Go to here, you got your sonar, all that other stuff. We got side scan as well, so we got some different stuff in here I haven't had before. And uh, when we start doing some of this inshore fishing on occasion, we're gonna be using it for that for sure. Moving further up, we got a tower. Now you're wondering why we have a tower on this boat. Sarah loves lobstering. I like to eat them occasionally. She loves catching them and finding them. But when you ride up in that tower, you can see coral heads, you can see ledges, and like, you know, help spot these spots where the lobsters hide. You can also use it to spot fish. So I'll be fishing up there, no doubt about it. Sarah will be right up there looking for lobster spots. But you got your electronics box right here, it's called. It's really, there's no electronics in it. It's more like a storage box, but got the bottom of your steering there, your GPS connection. Up here, you got your throttle box too. So, but you can put hats in there, whatever else you need to do. Very comfortable seats up here. 
the whole boat matches, so you got that. Steps here, this is how you get into the tower. Step right here, step right here next, and just work your way right, right up then. You're good to go. Up here we got our steering wheel, we got another Simrad unit, got your JL audio controller, and your throttle there to run the boat. The console's a big area up here. This is the raised console. So we got a lot of stuff in here right now. We got bags in there, we got our shoes, and you can also put stuff underneath here. This is where all the batteries are, right back here as well. But lots of storage right there when you're running. And this boat rides really dry. We're super happy with it. It rides great. And uh, it goes super shallow, you know. It can run in like five inches of water, and it floats in like 10 or 11 inches of water. So that's uh, awesome to have. Find a leaning post seat right here. A couple snaps, this opens up. We've got our fire extinguisher in there. We got some flares. You can put other stuff in there too, but plenty of storage on this boat. All the switches for everything's right here. We got our live wells and our bilge pumps, and one little storage hatch here. You can put tackle boxes in, or we got our wallet and uh, remote controls in there. This is how you access your batteries. Open this up right here. Got our little stone crab box in here. Keep some spare pieces in there. And let's keep moving further back. Two more live wells back here. You got a backrest, so this is a seat. You can also put a cooler up here. We'll probably put a Yeti up here, you know, to keep drinks in. This folds up if you don't want to use it. Another insulated live well right here. We got some of our spare crab buoys in here. A couple throats. Live well, you can also use it as a fish box if you wanted. One more live well in the back right here. Open that up. Now this one's not insulated, but still works great, you know, if you're using it just for bait. If you're not gonna put ice in it, it doesn't matter at all. So, got your screen right there in your drain. You can adjust it. It's good to go. As you can see, there's lots of speakers on the boat. We got six speakers in the back here. We got two in the tower. We got two subs in the center console there, plus two more speakers. So it sounds amazing. Huge shout out to JL for keeping that uh, sound system going. Very comfortable dive ladder to get in and out of the water with. Folds down and uh, climb in and out there. It'd be perfect when we're snorkeling, lobster, and all that. In the back here, this is something else I've never had. We have two power poles. We don't even have to anchor now. We put these down that work pretty much on every bottom. If it's super hard, they won't work, but any soft bottom or even like medium consistency bottom, they go right in. So click of a button, they go right down. Really excited to have those. It's gonna make it easier. You got your bilge access in here. Lift this up, twist and turn it. We've got live well pumps for all the different live wells. You can see those in there. And we've got one bilge pump on each side too. These are for the power poles here for your fluid. If your remote control is not working, you can do it manually right here, straight to the pump. And that about covers it. What I forget, Sarah? Oh, the jack plate. And last but not least, here is the jack plate. First boat I've ever had with a jack plate. You ever had a boat with a jack plate? The deck boat has a jack plate and power poles. It does? Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> so I've All been right. using the deck boat janky ones, but they're not premium like okay. these ones. <laughs> it comes up six extra inches if it was you know traditionally mounted right on the hull. So if you want to run shallow, it does that and we can uh, get into spots we usually wouldn't be able to get into. And the last thing on the boat I want to show you guys is this right here. This is a custom fin that Shallow Sport puts on their boat. Since there's a trimaran hull and there's a tunnel there, they put that on there to help with the ride, catches more water and uh, you know it's very heavy duty, very sturdy and it's good to go. So we're getting familiar running this boat. Like I said, I've never had a jack plate before, but turns out Sarah has one on the deck boat. I don't really drive that often. So we're gonna put the bow down with the trim tabs, put the jack plate back in a normal position. And here we go. We're gonna run into the wind, so cruise will be a little bit slower than downwind. gallon going 20 to 30 miles an hour we're running into the wind we're gonna run downwind now and we're definitely gonna get some more speed let's see what this bad boy will do top 
speed there, 48 and a half miles an hour, pretty quick. That was going downwind. We have the oversized top on here. Without that, you go even a little bit faster. But that's a 300 mile pushing it and uh, cruising 30 to 35 miles an hour, getting 2.3 to 2.5 miles per gallon on average. And that was, you know, nearly 50 miles an hour. So she goes and it rides really good. It rides over the chop good and uh, super stable boat and platform. Can't beat it. That's it for the walkthrough. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Now let's go check the crab traps out. We're going to pull the stone crab traps right now. We're debating whether it's Sarah's boat or my boat. I think it's our boat together though. Comment below what you guys think. Comment below. Do you think it's her boat or my boat? <laughs> What do we got, Sarah? Nick really wanted to get this thing. I'm not a huge fan of it because it's like people trip over it and I like to get on and off the boat easy and it's like in my way for lobstering. But today we're not lobstering, we're crabbing. And we're gonna use the spot lock feature. So we pull the traps and then we drift away from the spot where the trap is and then we have to go all the way back to it. But today we're just gonna see if this thing will hold us in place. What do you think, will it hold us? We're gonna find out. Well, 15 to 18 knots. Okay, push the check button, push the OK button, power, and thrust. <laughs> I think we're going the wrong way. We gotta go this way. There we go. It's gonna take us 10 minutes, but we'll get back over there. <laughs> So we're super excited about this new boat. We had the old Pathfinder years ago. We got rid of that. We got the deck boat. And the deck boat's fun, but it's not really that practical to pull the crab traps on and a little bit of a pain to jump into the lobstering on. And this, we're gonna have fun fish on this. We're gonna fish in the back country. We're gonna fish offshore on the reef. We're gonna do it all. So I wanna thank all you guys for watching the videos, for buying merch, for fishing with us, for buying boats. We just sold the 37 Freeman. Um, that boat's going to a new home, so I hope you guys enjoy that boat. And uh, we got more work to do, so enjoy the ride today. Dawson kicked in a little bit. <laughs> Did you put us in gear? It's <laughs> 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 sure, gonna take a while. All right, Dawson kicked us in gear to help out. All right, you're neutral, right? Okay, let's see. Oh, well, let me not run it over. All right, Dawson, you gonna get it? I don't really want to. Okay, now ready? We're on the spot. Push the anchor for spot lock. And this should keep us right here and not move us off our first spot. We'll see. Oh boy. And this is how you break in a brand new boat. You go get it dirty, put some crab traps on it. Heck yeah. Gabe and Kelly are down here in the Keys. They didn't even stop by to say hi. So if you guys watch this, I wish you guys were here. She's gonna work you harder than I do. I know. Hang on, we weren't even ready yet. Dawson had an epic day on the Wahoos the other day. They caught five Wahoos. They caught a triple header, then a double header. Left and right. They're on fire. Good job. Thank you, thank you. I rigged some mediocre baits and uh, I got it done. She caught above average fish. Yeah. Are we moving? Oh, you're good. Let's get this boat dirty. Oh yeah. Please don't be open. It's closed. Oh, this trap's dirty. Oh, it's so nice and low-sided for pulling the traps. Much better. Much better. Much better. I see a couple in there. 
Oh, with one little baby claw. Watch out, how will get you. That one regrew, regrew a small claw and he's missing his big one, so you can see they do live. No bait left at all. They're hungry. Oh, they are hungry. They are getting feisty, folks. Gosh, you might have to help measure. Don't, don't get got. Hi, buddy. Yep. Anchor button. Anchor. We have anchored up. Hopefully it works. And this boat's new for us, so it's gonna take a little getting used to and how to use everything on here. But so far, so good. We are super excited. It's very easy to pull the traps up. Oh, a big one. A big one. I think so. And for crabbing, it's perfect. They come right over the side. Oh, yeah. nice one there. Nice one. That's a good one there, guys. No food, they're starving. The stock lock didn't work. Oh, you didn't hit the button. I thought I did. The spot lock didn't work. I messed up. Welcome aboard. Dawson, that's a big boy. Dinner. Yeah. You're good. Apparently the trolling motor is working and we're only six feet away from the spot. We didn't move. It's probably blowing close to 20 knots, right? Yeah, 18 and 20. So it's holding us on the spot. Normally we drift away while we work on the traps and we have to like come all the way back to the spot and it takes longer, but now we're like lightning speed efficient. <laughs> Next. Bye, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yay, another keeper. On the spot? Yep. Close enough. Good crabbing platform. I am pleased with the crabbing capabilities so far. Dawson, pull the anchor. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Anchor's pulled. There was a few more. Oh, I see a big one in there. Yeah. We haven't had a cold front in a couple weeks. It's been like 80 degrees and beautiful, but the crabs don't move around as much, so it's slowed down on the crabbing. I think there's one coming Monday though, so we'll get another push. Last two pulls we caught like 52, and then I caught 31, and today we've got like five. So, slow down. Ah, uh, you're probably within about 15 feet. You guys can see it's blowing 15 to 18 knots today. Got some of more. 
it's a one foot chop a few two footers back here but you can see there's white caps so call it one or two foot chop the boat is so stable it drifts so well and that's what's so great about these multi-hull boats this is a trimaran it's got three hulls underneath it um my other boat you know is a catamaran but this boat is awesome so far yeah you're hardly moving like dawson what do you think i like it nice and stable we're gonna go do a fishing video on here soon too we gotta catch some fish on it. Banana peel! The elusive banana peel! There's a banana peel! Who's could it be? I wonder who that came from. I'm driving! <laughs> <laughs> no flaws, and he still survived. Yep. One big daddy. There's a big one there. Big daddy keeper. Fuzzy rope. We're thick in the middle of crab season. Oh my Look at this goodness. guy, he's getting it. He's gonna swamp us. He's gonna swamp us. Oh, bye, oh, bye. Oh, he doesn't run us over. We might dip our bow. We could have been rich. We could have been. Could have got us. We could have been really rich. <laughs> could have been dead. All God. time high. The all time high. Oh, boy, big wake. This will be good to see how the boat does in rough seas. Here we go. Oh, oh! We dipped the bow. Well, I guess it'll wash the boat. Yeah, send it back here. The all-time high waked us. He washed the boat off for us. Always put your ropes at the bottom of the trap, people. It makes it so much easier. Not at the top. Nick must have tied this one. I didn't tie that one. I, I hear crabs. I see crabs. Ew, Sarah. <laughs> There's a big one. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. look at that. Holy now we're talking. Holy. Look at look, that. Look, they got hungry and they ate their. They ate one. They ate one. They ate a crab in there. They're cannibals. That one's got no claws. He's still surviving. This one's picture worthy oh, there. Beast. Dude, that's the biggest one yet of the year. That's the biggest claw yet, don't you think? Had some close cuffs. I don't think we had any bigger than that this season. That's a nice one. That one's one. picture worthy. Yeah. Oh, this one's a fighter. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's where he got pinched before. Yeah. Cool, eat him. He'll taste good. Bueno, bueno. Anchors away. Oh, we're on the spot, yeah. How convenient. We're like halfway through the season and it's the messiest time to pull the traps because they're covered in muck. This is our first trip on the boat that wasn't like sea trialing it or at the boat show or anything. And the first thing we did was come and pull the crab traps and get the boat dirty. So we're more than halfway we're through not the afraid. <laughs> yeah. I think we're two thirds. It's a, uh, it's a work boat. The wash off. Scott, if you photo bomb me in your sailboat one more time, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're not gonna be friends. Beautiful this paint job is on this Yamaha. Look at the pearl in here. Like this thing actually looks amazing in this sunlight. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's blue and purple and pink all mixed in there in that pearl. The boat is broken, people. Oh, that stinks really bad. Not as bad as rotten iguana, though. When you pull up these traps after the iguanas have been sitting in them for a week, like, I cannot describe that smell, but it's nasty. Deploy the trap. Whew. All right, Never get first trip on the boat. Let's wash it off a little bit. The first trip was a success. We got enough crabs for dinner. Not a crush, but uh, we got more time to catch more. And last but not least, we gotta hit the trailer with some blaster. Just corrosion stop, nothing too fancy, but it's all aluminum. And we want this thing to last, so every bolt, the entire thing we're gonna coat 
We're going to use the whole can on it. But we want this trailer to last. It's brand new. We don't get a new trailer very often, but all carpeted, so nice bunks there. All the bolts there. We want to hit all that stuff up inside here. What do we got for you? So, I'm going to keep doing this, you guys. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, check out the website, stansfishing.com. We got all our fishing rods on there, too, if you're looking for fishing rods. And uh, we're going to have some fun on this boat, so we'll be fishing on it in no time. We'll see you guys then.